Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 3 of Super Mario RPG. And in the last episode, we beat up our first boss, yeah! And now Toad's like, thanks Mario, I was running so fast I wasn't watching where I was going. Well you klutz, Toad, you suck. Mushroom Kingdom's just ahead, we're almost there Mario. So hyper. Yes you are. Hey, where did this hammer come from? Gee, I don't know, maybe the Hammer Brothers? It's just a hunch. Hey, do you know what this is? It's, uh hammer. He has the Hammer Brothers insignia on it. No one stands a chance when you want them with this. And we get our first weapon of the game. You never know, it might come in handy. Picked up a hammer. Sweet. Let's get a move on. I'll see you in the Mushroom Kingdom. Yep. So basically, uh, when you get that hammer, you, the first thing you want to do is equip it, obviously. Let's see. It raises our attack to 38, which is pretty substantial. I'm not sure what it is without it right now. Let's check it. 28, so it raises it by 10. Sweet. Oh, uh, yeah. Just don't forget to equip it now, or else it's as useless as caramel. Caramel? Yes. It's a line from somewhere. Okay, Mushroom Kingdom. Let's check it out. And this is basically Toad Town from, like, Paper Mario 1. Um, what's back here? Oh! That horrible crocodile, and wearing crocodile skin and shoes, no less. Has he no shame? Uh, yeah, that guy's basically the invisible man. Um, he's a recurring character throughout the game, actually. Like, you meet him in different places. You don't have to ever meet him. He doesn't really serve much of a purpose, other than telling you some hints and stuff. But, yeah, it's kind of cool. A lot of people like to think that he's Luigi, but there's no really pr real proof of that. I haven't seen Princess Toadstool lately. What? Bowser got her again? Yes, again. Really. I'm just, just gonna open that door, let the draft in. Hey Mario, look what you're standing in. Ew, nasty. Ha, gotcha. Aw, oh, you. You. Okay, what's in here? This is the inn, okay. Um, let me cheat. Let, let me see. Why don't you crash for a while? It'll only cost you three coins. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Good luck, Mario. What does this kid over here say? Oh, shut up. What? That's rude. What the freak? Whatever. Okay, you definitely want to save here. Trust me on this. It's a very good idea to save. Because we're about to do something, and if you miss it, then you can never get it again. Trust me. Alright, it's actually quite difficult, too. At least it was for me the first time I did it. Now, what do these guys say? Mario, hurry, the Chancellor awaits. And? Mario, hurry, the Chancellor awaits. Wow. I don't go in much. Okay, so enter the castle here. And Toad's like, Mario, there you are. I'll tell the Chancellor you're here. Now, once Toad starts running away, you want to jump on his head just like I will, and I'll show you what to do from there. Oh, wait for you down the hallway. Okay, run up to him and jump on jump on his head. Jump on his head. Jump on... No, jump on his head. Oh, fuck. Alright, guys. Um, I'm gonna cut away for a minute, and I'll see you once I'm back here. Okay, just a minute. Alright, guys, I'm back now. That's exactly why you want to save, because you need to do this. Or you don't need to, but... Okay, so one, you can jump up here and hit that. Get a frog coin. Frog coins are like just random green coins that you'll find throughout the entire course of the game. They are very useful later on, trust me. Alright, um, let's check out some of these side paths here. What's down here? Um, hello. I'm guarding the treasure room. Sorry, but you have to get the Chancellor's permission to pass. Well, I can just like walk right behind you. Why couldn't I like walk through there? I guess there's a locked door or something. Damn it, I need to find a small key. The vault guard better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. No, he's not. Boing, boing, boing. I'm gonna mess up the bed. The mess, I'm gonna mess up the bed that you work so hard to clean. Ha ha. Alright, let's check it out now. I mean, check, check it out. Whatever. I'm gonna check it out of the guest room. Yeah. Up here, um, I think this is Toad's, yeah, Toadstool's room. The princess hasn't returned yet. Can you imagine how the chancellor must feel? I know, really. This bed's identical to the one in the guest room. Why doesn't she get special treatment? Uh, if you press A right here, check it out. Found Toadstool's question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh my god. Hey there, what do you think you're doing? Uh, nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you this in exchange. Just leave everything where it was. Oh my god, got a mushroom. And from what I remember, in the Japanese version of this game, that actually says found Toadstool's XXX. So, put one, two and two together. You, I'm sure you can figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Right, so let's go ahead and head in here, follow Toad through. Yay! And... Sir, Mario has arrived! Blizzard of the Great Super Mario? 
Hobbity, hobbity, woobity, wobbity, 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 Mario, you're here. Thank goodness you're here. Yeah, sweet. Nod. We nod in agreement. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser to keep or something. Why, do they, why does everyone always say or something, you know? It was so loud I almost dropped my spores. So you really are, toads really are mushrooms then? Uh, excuse me? Where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. H-O-U-R-S, hours. And Mario's like, oh my god, no. I forgot where she went. I fear the worst. Could Bowser somehow be behind all this? You think? Oh, Mario's shape-shifting. Yep. See? He has some epic shape-shifting powers. Spores alive! You're telling me it's that Bowser has abducted the princess again? I'm trying to listen here. I think I think there was a little bit of suspenseful music there during that cutscene or something. I don't know. Never mind. It'll be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Toadstool. How about a wobbler? No, Bowser's laughing. Bowser's gonna laugh at us, though. Fuck. And Toadstool's like, yay, happy. And then... <gasps> Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
You're not a frog. Look at you. You're a freaking piece of cauliflower or a marshmallow or something. You can't jump. Yeah. How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? Uh, I'm a little busy. You sure you won't reconsider? Uh, sorry, no. Oh, please. Pretty please. No! I never thought you'd be so mean, Mario. Well, fine, I'll help you. Whatever. You know I can't get my Pokemon back without your help. All right, all right. Wait, no, no means no. I never thought you'd be so mean, Mario. Okay, he just says that forever, I guess. I thought this might have been one of those things where like you can say no enough and you get a game over. Cause I've never tried that before. The young frog Mal, who looked, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. Fantastic. New party member. Uh, I think I'll go over that in the next battle that I get in, really. But for now, we don't need to do anything about that. Right, none of these houses really have anything of interest. Um, I think, I think this guy might have something to say, actually. It was that reptile. He's the one who stole my wallet. But I let him get away. Remember that guy for later, trust me. Right, there's Toad. Um, he's going hyper. But not as hyper as this guy. Jeez. Let's get on his head. Get on his head, Mario. You can do it. You can do it, Mario. Come on. Nope. Nope. Come on. I want to show this off. It's kind of fun. Damn it. There we go. We. And Mario jumps off. Face palm. Or a face plant, rather. I hope my grandchild turns out to be just like the princess. Are you a girl, really? Mario, let's say you and I get hitched in a few years. Okay, what? What, just give me time to grow into my brother's wedding dress? Well, sure, whatever. Right, in here, there is the shop. But we're going to cover that next time, actually. I think I actually don't feel too well right now. I don't know. Maybe I ate something that didn't agree with me. But we're just going to go ahead and save here. Yay. And I'm going to end this episode off early. So thank you, everyone, for watching. In the next episode, we'll get into our partner mechanics, I guess, with Mallow and everything. Check out the shop and what have you. So, thank you everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.